because y'all gotta go see this i think she was really actually willing to die for her convictions because she believes so strongly that she is an american and she deserves to have first class citizenship the racial and generational tension within the women's movement was messy, and the human drama behind it resonated personally with Suf's creator, Shayna Taub. When I was busting out of college, and when you're the young person, and you're like, this pre everything wrong, I'm gonna shake it up. The sort of youthful bravado is necessary for a movement to have. And then when you get a little older, and you see the younger version come along, and you think, oh, that was me. And that's how it was between veteran suffragist Carrie Chapman Catt and 20-something Alice Paul. I made allies, I took action. Who cares who gets the credit or the blame? Their relationship was not good. Historian Marjorie Sparol has written books about women's history. She says their styles of activism were very different. As the country was gripped by World War I, Kat wanted the suffrage movement to support the war so that the administration would see the movement as an ally, a kind of quid pro quo. But Paul and her National Women's Party remained militant. Kat, though she was very much an idealist and a pacifist, she was also a pragmatist at this point in her life. Meanwhile, the National Women's Party was picketing the White House, criticizing the president, even burning his speeches, burning him in effigy. In 1917, Paul and dozens of her fellow protesters were thrown in jail. Some were beaten. They went on hunger strikes and were force fed. Paul was nearly sent to a mental institution. Shana Taub wondered what having her sanity questioned must have been like. And so I had to think, okay, Alice, who has been so stubborn and so unrelenting and so action-based in this moment, what would she say to sort of pour her humanity?